Chris trying to do a weld. It ain't no video game now. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can get roughly where it's at. All right, ready? Check out this new gun that I purchased just a little while back. Got a wild hair, wanted to build me a, I guess you want to call it a tactical version of a lever action. I've always loved lever actions and I just had this wild hair, decided to build one, got to looking, found that they actually kind of already build a gun that's semi-tactical if you want to call it that. Uh, from the original you saw in the pictures that I've posted so far. It comes with the big loop lever, um, it's already got the rail to put sights on and all that scope, whatever. It's already threaded to put a suppressor or a muzzle brake, like I've got in this picture, a muzzle brake. So it's already got a lot of things to make it a tactical rifle. As you can also tell, I've already went and got with Midwest Industries and ordered their M-Lock handguard to put more rails and stuff on there. I've also put a foregrip made by Fab Defense. Like it. it, feels pretty smooth and comfortable. You know, it is what it is. I've also put a little cheap bipod on here, mainly for when I started sighting in the Red Dot, which is a it's a Burris Red Dot. It's the uh, Fast Fire 2. I've had it on a, a pistol before, liked it pretty good, so kind of threw it on there temporarily till I can actually get a different one. Probably gonna go with a little bit bigger sight for it, um, but so far liking it. Sighted in very well at about 50 yards. Um, really hadn't had the time to push it on out. I know most of these 3030s, you don't really want to go over, you know, 100 yards at that point. You're kind of being pointless. But to be honest, my end goal or end game, you want to call it for this, is I'm going to end up going with a suppressor. Probably gonna end up dipping the uh, stock and the M-lock rail, all that, do something different with that. And um, yeah, that's mostly kind of kind of what I got planned for it. So sighted in 100 yards, I'm gonna build some um, subsonic rounds for it and all that, be able to kind of play with it and everything. I know subsonic's really not a smart kind of thing to do if you wanna use it for a hunting rifle, but kind of built this as a toy to shoot, play, have fun with, let the kids shoot. Subsonic rounds, you know, it won't kick as much either. It'll be like almost like a two, two, three. So, kids will be able to enjoy shooting it as well. So that's kind of the plan. And so far, I put about 60 rounds through it and haven't had any issues, ejections, all that. No misfires. Loving the gun so far. So that's it. That's what we got going on right here. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. And stick around for some other little shooting clips. This is our first attempt at a Tannerite bomb. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it way down there, but you probably can. It's <laughs> you missed it! Oh god! <laughs> well.